All right, everybody. This is gonna be a, a, I think, a very cool video because of a lot of people have been having issues with the N900 having a really bad battery life. So I took it upon myself to actually uh, do something a little bit nice. This is the uh, stock battery cover uh, for the uh, Nokia N900. This is the stock battery, 1320 milliamps. So I've I've had. Um, um, other projects before in where I uh, made sure that my battery life, for example, on my, I don't know if y'all remember these, the Sony Clear, Clear UX50. This is up from 2000, 2001. I haven't done another project like this in a while. So I took the, um, the charging base and uh, believe it or not, I put a battery inside of it. This protruding out of it is a USB connector and it gave me approximately 3,000 milliamp battery and it clicks on it and it stayed on it. Gave me uh, pretty much about a whole day's worth of uh, a battery. Now this is uh, my Nokia N900. As you can see everything is working fine. But here goes the surprise. If you see protruding out of the back, it, it looks a little messy still but I need to clean it up including um, thinking of doing a vinyl cover in the back. Um, the only thing you're going to see protruding out of it is going to be that little bit. It's a uh, 850 milliamp battery from uh, Nokia N95. And uh, what I did was, was basically I cut off a, pit, a piece of the back of the uh, battery cover for the Nokia N900. And... Uh, this is my little handiwork right here. I put both batteries together. I measured them up, made sure that everything was going to fit right, and including onto the uh, the whole of the uh, cut up battery cover. I uh, took off the little uh, chip that is in the front of it. I uh, just cut it off, and there's two connectors. One right here, which is the negative. One in the center, which is the positive. I grabbed them with a piece of uh, uh, tape cable, um, ribbon cable, I don't know what else you guys call it, and um, the two pieces, very thin, very hard, hard to work with by the way, and they're going one to the negative, one to the positive, and they run all the way to the front of the, this is the negative, the center one is the negative, the side one is the positive. As you can see, everything uh, hooks up pretty much. Looks like stock. Well, doesn't look like stock. What I'm saying is it fits like stock right on the uh, phone itself. The battery cover itself does not give me any problem once I cut it up. As you can see, all I need to do, like I said, is uh, probably do a vinyl cover and it should work fine. But um, with the 1320 stock battery milliamp hours, plus the 850 of the BL5F battery of a Nokia N95 gives me pretty much the same amount of battery hour as a Mugen battery with the only thing is that it cost me I think it was about five dollars for the battery cover I had a spare battery laying around and I cut everything up and it you know that's all it cost me basically just five dollars and uh, it gave me, you know, pretty much a uh, new lease on life on my Nokia N900, which I know all of you guys have been having issues with, you know, the battery life. Everything works just fine, including the uh, the lens cover, as well as the kickstand. I hope you uh, you guys um, like this video. If you need any help uh, in regards to uh, questions or what materials you're going to need, just let me know. Hit me up and I'll help you with it. All right. Take care.